Welcome back all you crafty people. I uh, have covered my mailbox and I lined it on the inside and I painted the back. So first I painted the back green. Let's see if you can see that in there. Um, then I went ahead and covered the outside and I left a good inch here and a good inch here. So I have not done that yet. And then, um, okay, yeah. Then I covered the bottom piece and I just put a piece in there. I cut it. I cut both pieces together the length that I wanted them for this. I cut them both together so I knew they'd be the exact same size. Then I put one down at the bottom and I put a strip of glue right down the center, pushed it all the way to the back, waited till that glue totally dried. Then I took and pushed down with my finger, bone folder, whatever you want to use, and I pushed that down into the corner, made sure it was nice and straight, pulled it back, run some glue up and down it, pushed it back in and waited till it dried and did the same thing on this side. Then this one was relatively easy. Uh, I just did the same thing. I ran some glue down the center and put it up in here and made sure that dried really well. And then I just pulled this side and put some glue on it and pulled this side and put some glue on it. This one, I had my paper. I laid it down on the paper and ran myself a line all the way across and then I cut inside the lines about the thickness that I knew I would need to um, clear from out here to in here. So, you know, an eighth of an inch or so. Uh, covering this was really pretty easy. I laid it down and I left myself a good inch, inch and a half all the way around and at least a half an inch on the bottom. So I uh, glued this part down, let it dry, and then I cut, I cut, um, the sides were fine. They laid over and went down just fine. Um, right about the beginning of the curve, I cut the material to this point here, till the top of the, of your lid here. And then I cut again about here in the center on both sides. And then I was able to just pull it around and lay everything down. I took off any excess that I didn't need. And then I pulled the little half inch around on the bottom. Then I glued this down. And then I took, I did reinforce my holes every time, you know, not reinforce, but re-poked my holes every time I put a new layer in. Um, and then that's about it for that. Uh, this opens and closes very nicely. It doesn't close, well, it does. When you lay it down, it wants to pop open just a little bit. But I have a feeling that I'm going to leave mine open like this on the table and possibly have the decoration here and then flow down around here. But remember that part I'm not going to do until it gets closer to Christmas when I actually pull out from the attic all my stuff. But you guys can make this into anything. You can make this into a little hobbit house. You can make this into a, um, you know, all, all kinds of good things. I am going to, I have one more uh, sheet of this paper and um, so I am going to get that and I'm going to cover the bottom with it and I'm going to do this for the sides. Again, all I'll do, lay it down on the paper, go around it, and then cut inside the lines. So that is about it for that. Um, now all we need is our little flag. Now, if you don't want to do the flag, you don't have to do the flag. If you want your flag on the left or if you want it on the right, that's totally up to you. But I'm going to do a flag. Um, 
And I'm thinking that I'm going to uh, probably make four layers. So first I'm going to cut two inches uh, twice. I want two inches and then another two inches. Okay, so there we go with that. I have my glue sticks. I'm trying to use up before they <laughs> go bad. Okay. So there's that. Glue this one down. Then I'm going to glue the two short, because I got the two short ends, I'm going to go ahead and glue those together because that's probably about as long as it's going to be. Anywho, go ahead and put the glue over past that. But, all right, so there is an Uhu stick. Um, that's supposed to be a really nice, you know, if I want to get a glue stick, I am going to go and find somebody that uses glue sticks and ask them which one's the best. I don't know. I don't use them often enough because what I do needs to stick permanently, and I just don't think glue sticks do that very well. So, anywho. So now I have four... layers and so I'm happy with that. Um, I think I want my flag to be about two inches so I'm gonna go let's see let's do two and a quarter just so it's a little longer than it is wide. Um, so where's my ruler? I just had it did I not? Hey, here it is. Okay. Timmy, you're going to get a banking. <laughs> so I am going to go to about three quarters of an inch up. No, let's go an inch up. Yeah, that'll be good. So I want an inch up. And this is two inch paper, so it should be right, you know, right down the center. One, two, three, four. So then I'm going to line up my Timmy on the one inch mark and just finish this down this way. So figure out how long you want it. So I am going to cut off those little thin pieces because I think that makes it too long for me. And so I'm putting it at eight and a quarter inches. There we go. So eight and a quarter. Then I can help myself a little bit. I'm going to put this on the one inch. No, maybe not. Maybe not. I forgot. Cutting into four layers is not good going to be easy. So let's just do this by hand and we're going to cover it. There we go. When it gets in your way, just get rid of it. Okay. All right, now I would love to round this, but I have a feeling that that's going to make it a lot harder to get this covered. And I just have enough. So I could cut this down a little bit more so I have enough. Huh. Yeah, it needs to be cut down a little bit more anyway. Okay, so let's do... 
seven and a half. How's that? Okay, that works. There we go. Okay. So seven and a half, and that should give me enough with this piece to do what I need to do. So first thing is let's go ahead and glue it down. I keep grabbing my, where is my other glue? <laughs> Just use the Fabri-Tac. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and glue this down onto our paper. on the one side. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to leave myself about a half an inch on the three sides, best you can. You know, maybe your piece is larger than mine. Okay, just this is nice and thick, and I think it will stand up nice, um, nicely, too. So, there's that. Now we're going to do just like you would if you were trying to cover a book. You're going to cut away at your corners, leaving a little bit. Now this can be cut here. Just like this. I'm going to get to a point and I'm going to cut right up to the edge there and then I'm going to cut that away. I'm going to come in an angle and cut there coming in an angle, cut there, okay, go ahead and start working our, we can cut this one at a little bit more of an angle, there we go, don't get too crazy with your angles because then you might leave a little bit of it uncovered and at some point other than right down here you're going to see every bit of this front and back. And I don't have enough that's going to cover the front and the back. So let's see. This will just cover. So very good, Lisa. That will just cover. This will not. So I'm going to take, let's see, if I put that piece here, is that going to cover everything? So let's go ahead and I'm going to glue this down. I'm going to cut it right So yeah, when you're cutting cutting this excess off, make sure that you're leaving yourself enough that you can cover because you are going to be able to see both the front and the back of this cool little flag we're making. Yeah! Oh, it, this is going to be so much fun to decorate. But like I said, I'm not going to be doing that until it's closer to Christmas so that I have all my Christmas stuff out. So... Save this video, guys. I know you're going to want to make one of these. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to put, just like I do, I put glue all the way around my book. And then we're going to do... the sides first. Let's 
you could totally use your double-sided tape if you wanted to. I probably should have for um, time sensitive, you know, just trying to get things done for you in a timely manner. But, you know, come on. Okay, let's get this. I'm going to go ahead and start moving these corners around. Oops. And this one. Because there is glue spread into those areas from burnishing. So I'm going to go ahead and catch those. Let's do this one. And hope that it really does come all the way over. Oh, there's one little piece that's not going to be. Well, I will just have to decorate that up a little bit more, huh? Okay, and then these, just these little guys. So I will probably make this side the outside piece because I can decorate this side and leave it decorated and cover up anything that didn't get covered up um, where, well I guess it's that way anyway because um, it wouldn't it wouldn't work on this side so I'm gonna leave this piece with all of the raw edges and such as my outside but you could totally you know if you did it the opposite direction you can put it on either side there's no right side or wrong side we're, we're not actually going to be mailing mail out of this thing so the mailman's not gonna come by and say hey your flag's supposed to be on the other side Okay, so then all we're going to have left to do is we're going to poke a hole. And I used the squares. That's the square um, right there. The squares for the lid. So I'm using my square shiny. It's got a little bead, I mean a little um, rhinestone in it. I'm using that and then I want to see where I want this and I think I want it right here so I'm just going to poke a hole and put it in okay Open it up. Press it down. Make it as tight as you can. And it will stand up and it will go down. It will go down and it will touch the side, but that's fine. And then this will close up and it's ready for storage. All right, guys, isn't that adorable? I just love it. And wait till we decorate. It's going to be beautiful. Um, all I have left is this, and I've already explained to you how I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to get another piece of that. Actually, actually, actually. I have got enough where I can make the round part and this will cover up the bottom. 
where I need it to be. So this will be just run right through there and cover that bottom up. So there you go. Everything is coming up. Christmas trees. All right, so that's what I'm going to do is just do that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this across. And I could have made it a little longer. Yeah, I could have. Well, let's see. You always screwing up something, Lisa. <laughs> you always screwing up something. I'm going to go ahead and take a little piece. And I'm going to put the little piece right here like that so let's just cut this off where we need it glue it on lay it down there and so we're just going to do a little piece here and a little piece there. Okay. And then this needs some glue. Now, you can also use glue all if you want to, uh, you know, if you, if you don't want to spend the money on the amount of glue that it makes, that it takes. Um, and had I not been videotaping, I probably would have used glue all. Uh, just because it is less expensive and... You know, you want your material. You don't want your material with little pockets where it's hanging out. And so your glue all is great for this these kind of projects. And I'm just getting this so it's nice and covered. It doesn't need to... This part's just not going to show for me. And so I just want it to be covered so there so there's that piece and then this piece we've got our Christmas tree material it doesn't have to have any extra side pieces it just needs to be big enough to cover this so I'm going to take my pencil Let's go ahead and move this off the edge so I know that I'm going to get a large enough, small enough piece and just keep going around the edge here. All right. Might as well do it all with you, right? Oh. I don't know when you lost me. Not enough uh, memory. Somehow, I don't know, somehow my, maybe my SD card got switched off. So now I am going to cut about an eighth of an inch inside the line I just made. Take your time. Line it up. Not as easy to deal with as paper. This paper doesn't fiddle fart. Oh, fiddle, uh, you know. Excuse me. <laughs> it doesn't uh, slink around quite as much as this stuff does. Okay. 
There we go. We're getting it. All right. Make sure you don't have any, because this will show, depending on where you put it. Okay, so let's see how well we did. There we go. All right, let's just put some glue down. Big old goop. So I certainly hope that everybody is checking out the hashtags and getting all kinds of wonderful ideas. You know, even if you're not in the mood to make Christmas, whatever it is that they're making, I'm sure has another, you know, if you just like what they're doing, like the the uh, journals, if you just like what they're doing, by heaven's sakes, you don't have to make it a Christmas one. You know, so uh, if you if you like what you see, Go and play around with it. Do it. Get to it, guys. <laughs> you know, it's it's we have a wonderful crafting community here. Um and I know that the group that that is mainly on the the sites and things that I'm on, we are all so supportive and and so loving with each other. It's uh, I mean, you know, we, we wish people, we have no clue who you are, but if you come up as a happy birthday, I've seen, you know, I've seen 20 or 30 happy birthdays, and it's like, I'm sure not all those people even know who you are. And I do the same thing. It's happy birthday. Because it's just nice to hear. It doesn't matter if you don't know the person. That person, it just it's just nice to hear. So, you know, but we have such a wonderful group here. And a lot of very talented people. And we've got some newbies. And everybody is bringing them along. It's just a great, uh, it's a great place to be. And I love it. And I thank you all for being so supportive uh, of not only myself, but um, especially all of the people that are doing this, ha this uh, hashtag Christmas, Christmas in July 2022 project. <laughs> so thanks all so much I hope you will make your own lovely little mailbox uh, I'm pretty sure mine is going to stay open and just and just takes a little bit of maneuvering and then we will have our little flag up and we will decorate things if you want it to stay up and it's not staying up um, you could possibly just put a little bit of glue right where it is attached. And then if you need it to go down at the end of the season, that you can just kind of pop that little bit of glue and let it close. Um, but I just think it's adorable. So thanks, guys, for joining me. I'll see you all later. Till next time. Merry Christmas in July. <laughs>